Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to another video. Man, we got a we got a deck in store for you guys today. What is up guys? Welcome back to another video. Man, we got a goddamn dumbass deck right now. Um this deck this deck and I had a long bad history. A lot some bad blood, you know. I was in a this like this like stole fifty dollars from me. It, it's it's sort of insane actually. So basically there's this tournament right and then first place gets fifty dollars and it was a pretty big deal and then um you know i was around 10th place i was working my way up there with you know psycho graver everybody's playing the meta you know how it works it's just the meta cheese everywhere just bland ass stale blah 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 you know how it is the best tournament players playing the best cards and decks um i i don't blame them it's you know the meta is good for a reason that's why it's meta and then Somehow, I make my way up to third place inside the tournament, and then to second place. There's 10 minutes left, and it's like, hey, if I win like one or two more, I, I think I'm gonna secure it. And then, goddamn, this guy comes out of nowhere. Out of nowhere. I play, I, I queue up for a match, and I face against this guy, and maybe he plays his P.E.K.K.A. I go for the punish after he plays the P.E.K.K.A., and he plays Lightning. And then plays Expo, and I'm like, okay, this is some gimmicky ass. Like, this this doesn't work, right? This guy's just trolling. And he just pulls out the other Expo on the other side, and and then Pekka to guard my Ice Golem and and all the other troops. And this is back when the Executioner was OP. So just like two, one shot in my Executioner, I was like, God damn, oh no. And then Jesus Christ, he pulled this deck out out of nowhere, and I get anally probed. It was a terrible day. I still have nightmares. And the worst part is, is that I still couldn't made it back. You know, I, I was in third place and there was like six minutes left. And then, you know, if like the other two people got DDoS, maybe I could stay in first. But then, damn, I went in another match and then I played the same exact guy. And we were both playing the same exact decks. And Jesus Christ, I can't even describe what happened. Oh my Lord. We're gonna have to get age restricted if if I discard what happened over there. The P.E.K.K.A Expo deck is actually pretty good. Like I thought it was just like a gimmicky mess, but if you actually look at it, it's very soundproof. Like the deck is actually built very built very well and it's semi-balanced compared to the fact that it has P.E.K.K.A Expo and Lightning inside the deck and still manages to be 3.9 elixir and still cover most of its weaknesses. And especially inside this meta, I saw a few like boys play um, Pekka Expo recently and I just remember this deck, like this happened a long time ago and I remember this disgusting deck and I was like, oh damn, in this meta uh, where Pekka is really good and Expo is sort of faltering, Pekka can really help out the Expo. And the thing is like Pekka Expo does a sound that great, but you know, just imagine Pekka as another Infernal Tower. And of course it doesn't hit air, so you have minions and electro wizard. And then you don't need a tank because Pekka is gonna be your tank. And this is actually a very good deck um that's not as linear as the typical expo deck. It's a good pocket deck to pick out. Um because you know, yeah, yeah, the Pekka in there to surprise some people out there. Uh completely baffle the opponents. Like just let this marinate. This is a this is a genius. Just a genius, like it takes some creativity, some mad genius to pull this stuff off. But, um, trigger warning as always, if you guys don't have the legendary log, uh, you can place it with a zap, and you can also place the lightning with a fireball, because right now there's a bunch of 3 musketeers, and Pekka and lightning are both good against 3 musketeers, but fireball is also decent. And you can always Alright, let's just jump straight into this grand challenge, we got 8 wins and 2 losses, but you know, Pekka X, but easy 12 win. It's sort of nice playing an off meta deck. You get that you get that nice hipster uh, tingle inside your body whenever you're playing off meta. We don't even need a meta. Get out of here. Yo. Uh minions should be able to take out a bandit before him by backing up with the bandit, but because of the zap, uh he couldn't zap our skeleton, so. So we did get the trade off over here, and we can apply pressure with this expo. Man, playing the off meta, it's pretty nice, because you know, the meta is sort of pretty stale at the moment. And you know, I'm a special snowflake. Uh, 
That bandit, I swear, it's gonna lock on tower. God. Bandit, it just phases through everything. It's so disgusting. It's like Sanic speed. What the hell? Uh, we can't just psych our skeleton in the back. The thing about the psych is that you do not want to have the same, to have P.E.K.K.A. Expo and Lightning in the same deck because then you can get, just get punished very easily. So over here, he's looking to gear up a bigger push. So we're just gonna drop back in the back. Yep, and I'm sure I should be, should be cake for our uh, Ewis over here. Um, Ewis is gonna stun everything over here, and the fire spirits do take out the barbs. So pretty good execution. Yo, he's trying to take out that E was pronto. Yo, the Inferno Dragon. What the hell? <laughs> Small just desolated my P.E.K.K.A. Like, playing off meta, you, you get that. You get that. Thumbs up, thumbs up. Wow. Wow. When you drop that P.E.K.K.A. and then you drop that Expo to top it all off. And then you got the Lightning. Jesus Christ. No one sees it coming, boys. No one. Hmm, uh, fire spirits would be really good over here because everything is punched up and then to take out the bats we'll just drop an Ewiz and to prevent future things such as that bandit uh, Log should stop the battering ram from locking on and we get the expo penetration going in Peck Expo undefeatable undefeatable Top tier for Pekka Expo Jesus Christ like at first glance, like you see this, you see like lightning, and, and then you just see Pekka, and they're like, okay, okay, lightning and Pekka, you don't usually see that shit, and then you see goddamn Expo, and it's like, Jesus Christ, uh, pretty soft lightning over there. Uh, does manage to take out a bunch of things? Okay. Got in the bag, boys. That was a, uh, that was bridge spam actually. So pretty good matchup over there. That was actually pretty hard. Pekka Expo completely decimated them. When you see Mom and Pekka getting that value over and over again, this that's why Pekka is so good inside this meta right now because we can just completely shut down one lane pushes uh, with the Battle Ram, the Bandit, and so forth. So we're in nine wins right now. Just four wins. with mortar because of the fact that sometimes it feels a bit clunky when you have expo and peck in the same hand and it's hard to get down both at the same time but right now mortar instead of expo mortar just is not that good stat wise especially in tournament play if we're gonna play this on ladder i would recommend having mortar instead of peck because it does have better synergy uh hopefully bandit rushes towards the peck at the end oh god Okay. Oh shit, I thought that was a Night Witch. It's been so long since I've se seen a regular witch. <laughs> Yo, this is a bootleg. This is a bootleg Night Witch. He probably doesn't have it, so he's just playing that <laughs> to replace it. Okay, a good lightning does manage to get a bunch of value. <laughs> is this guy serious? He legit put in witch instead of that because he does have Night Witch. You're just telling yourself to, You're just playing yourself when you're playing against him Oh, so he does have the Night Witch He's just <laughs> going straight in with the double double witch deck So, alright Here you see the Pekka's first victim The unsuspecting giant See, look at that There's like three shots Three shots or so Jesus Christ I swear, if you face my tower Fucking god. The witch, this is why the night witch is probably 10 times better than the, than the witch. If the night witch probably got to the same state, the same HP, it probably would have done at least double the amount of damage that the witch just did over there. And the thing is, is that night witch costs one elixir less, which is sort of dumb, but you know. <laughs> Supercell balancing hasn't changed. I see. Uh, we don't have enough elixir for the P.E.K.K.A. But if we do manage to save up for it, it should be pretty good. And that's why I'm talking about uh, how Mortar would do the same trick a bit better. Because if you drop the giant weight up front, I wouldn't have 
way enough time to drop the P.E.K.K.A. in the Expo. What I was sort of like doing is dropping like P.E.K.K.A. from Counter Push and afterwards dropping an Expo, which is sort of nice. Yo, get that login! Okay. Uh, bad Battle Ram almost touched my tower. We haven't touched hit tower at all yet. Hmm. Going We do have enough cards to stop his giant if he does go for the other lane split push, but he doesn't try it. He knows he can't do anything. Okay, uh, uh this is a pretty big push actually. The as long as we take out everything, we I don't care if he does a few damage because we are gonna be able to manage a huge counter push since he did just waste a bunch of elixir and we have a Pekka on the counter push. So we're just gonna drop another Pekka. <laughs> Yo, double Pekka. That's pretty disgusting. Against a giant? That's just straight abuse. Over here. Log should be able to clear out everything. Man, this double witch and giant is just really hard to deal with against Pekka. No! Not like this. Not like this. Pennant is just so strong right now and provides so much value for 3 elixir. Like you saw that over there, for 3 elixir, not many cards can do that. Uh, we should probably split push at the moment. We probably should have split push a long time ago, in fact. So that uh, we divert his resources. <laughs> <sighs> Bandit triggers me like no other card does. The goddamn Bandit, man. But yo, guys, try this deck out. Um, it's a. R but try this deck. But try this deck out, guys. It's a really solid deck actually, and it does pretty well inside this meta. And you know, this shenanigans can pull off with like Pekka Exo, it's just amazing. I'll see you guys in the next video, let's open up the chest. 9 wins, not too shabby, but you know, not as cool. Uh, Executioner, eh, whatever. I'll see you guys in the next video, this chest is sort of, and eh, it's like, I guess I got a few Executioners, which is sort of nice. But I don't play that much on live. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Play the Peck Expo. Make your dreams happen.